That's Cascade Mountain. We're not going with that right now. Very busy today. Hello. It's been a week since the last hike in the Lake Placid Nine. We, uh, we're a little busy at work. So anyway, we're back out. Pitch off is only, I don't know, like a four mile round trip. I guess the summit is uh, wooded, but there is a viewpoint. So we'll check that out either on the way up or on the way down. So like I said, I'm doing pitch off. This is from the, I don't know, Western, um, the pitch off slash cascade trailhead. There's also pitch off east. We are not at pitch off east. Um, I am doing the Lake Placid Niner in absolutely no order that makes any sense. Um, basically, I'm trying to get done today and first thing tomorrow morning. Those peaks that are gonna be really crowded with leaf peepers. It's the end of September and these trailheads fill up really fast and they are starting to restrict trailhead parking. There's a really nice view of Cascade Falls. Cascade is up there. You can see Cascade Lakes right down there and also down there and the walls. People do ice climbing there. Summit, summit to the left, Balance Rocks to the right. We're going to hit up Balance Rocks on the way down. So we're going to go this way. It's a nice view of the Dix Range over there. Here's a view from Balance Rock. Very nice. There's Cascade, Cascade Falls. And that's looking over toward Algonquin that way. Hey! Great little hike. It took me about um, two hours and ten minutes and that was with going to Balanced Rock. Um, yeah, I would totally come back here and hang out a little bit longer over at Balanced Rock. It's really pretty. I just have other mountains to do today, so I'm gonna go do them. Hello. <clears throat> Mountain number two for today is Mount Joe. It's a great little hike right next to Adirondack Lodge at Hart Lake that I've done a million times. Um, but I'm doing it again because it's part of the Lake Placid Niner and you have to do, do it after the creation of the challenge uh, which was in July of this year. So. Anyway, it's a quick little hike. I actually expected it to be uh, kind of crowded, so we'll see. But um, there's a couple cliffs on the way up, and it's fun, and there's some good views, and that's it. We'll see you on the top. You can do this trail in a loop, um, the short trail. <clears throat> you get to go up some cool cliffs, long trail. It's not as steep. That's where I was <clears throat> a couple weeks ago when I uh, did the bushwhack out to Shepherd's Tooth. That's Algonquin with right in front of it. And you can't see boundary or ear quite from here. It's kind of in the clouds. That's the ball face. Pretty cool. 
nice up here. There's a bunch of people at the summit, so I'm headed down. Here's the opposite side. Um, I decided I'm going to take the short trail down. I'm in a hurry to get over to Cobble Hill. Heading over to Cobble Hill right now. I'm hoping to make it up to the top for the sunset. Hello. Uh, on our way to Cobble Hill. Perfect. That's the McIntyre range. A little fire going on over there. See Mirror Lake. So we're on the top of Cobble Hill that took like maybe 13 minutes. I don't know what this is here. It's pretty big. Hmm. Something. I'm gonna go back over and check the sunset in a minute. I'm just gonna check and see what's up this way. I guess I'm at the top. I'm gonna go back down the steep part. So the last time I was up here, you can see it's a big rock slab. I came up in the winter and we had just gotten like two feet of snow. And I came up and I was over there and I was trying to cross over the slab. But it was so funny, I couldn't get anywhere. I just kept sliding all the way down. And a helicopter came and it was down low enough over in this direction that I could feel it like inside of my body. It was so close and so loud. It was crazy. So that's the last time I was here. Is that a hockey tournament? It's so pretty. So it's getting a little bit chilly and I think it's about time to wrap it up and head back to the car. Mirror Lake. 